uh, later in the show. But first of all, I think the biggest um, the biggest discussion over this past week, of course, you know, of course, Daniel Bryan, we talked about it last week, uh, and and more. That's going to be an ongoing discussion, as I know they popped up on Good Morning America. But something else came from uh, the Daniel Bryan ceremony last week that i think is worth discussion g- discussing and, and i think it's going to be a lot of speculation obviously but it doesn't look good um is titus o'neill uh hashtag save titus is that still is that still trending hashtag, that's right. Brandon, that's hashtag right. total titus hashtag total titus there you go well, what that's, that's what i do whenever he's on total divas what are we going to do with total yeah. divas without uh, titus o'neill popping up on that thing I thought I've watched most oh, of the season. Total, total Divas is losing their entire roster. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a rebuilding year for Total Divas. What are we going to do? But, um, but, but, I, 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 so for those who don't know, there was a, a, a weird incident at the end as, as Daniel Bryan was leaving on, on his farewell. Uh, actually, on WWE Network, they were showing this. It's since been cut. Don't look on their WWE official YouTube, WWE Network. Um, but uh, don't worry, the internet has you covered. Uh, Mm -hmm. So there was an incident where, if we can describe this for our audio listeners, um, they're starting to file out, and Vince McMahon's starting to file behind uh, Daniel Bryan and and Bree, and it looks like Titus grabs his arm, to which uh, Vince takes issue to, and looks like he's kind of turns around, yells at him, looks like he's ready to fight him, and I think Triple H gets in between them. There's been discussion. We found out, I think, uh, Wednesday morning after the show, uh, uh, was recorded last week that Titus was suspended initially for 90 days, which has then been cut down to 60 days. Uh, our friend of the show, Justin Labar, talked about this and says this was a little out of hand, it seems, because 60 days is like a second um, drug policy uh, yeah. wellness vil- violation that he would get this right off the bat. Now, Titus O'Neil is a guy that, you know, I, as much as you probably don't see him on TV doing a lot of significant stuff. He's everywhere. I know our good friend. He's dad of the year. What's that? He's dad of the fucking year. He's dad of the year. I'm glad we put fucking in that one. Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, our, our boy, Wheel, our boy Hot Wheels is saying, you know, he was down in California, PA when they were in town and they're you know, with, with Darren Young and they're doing speaking. He's been a, a, a goodwill ambassador for, for so many things. He's d- basically done everything. The company, has has told has has had him do. He's been part of the cancer anti, uh, the, the the Susan G. Komen campaign they have every November. Um, this has been in on or October, it was later months, whatever October. October, October. That's right. Um, he's been a huge part of that. He's been a face of the company this entire time, and for a weird incident like this, and he got that sort of response. Um, uh, Garza, what you know? You've been. I think you're the one that uh, actually kicked us kind of the the other angle in the slack, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what do you think about this whole situation? Well, uh, I mean, it sucks for Titus, uh, definitely, because I mean, he's not just missing 60 days; he's missing the WrestleMania paycheck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So even if it went from 90 to 60, he's still missing that, and that's like the big pay cut that everyone gets in the year. What I truly believe this ha- happened here is that, as you're mentioning, like Titus does a lot for the company. So I, I imagine that at some point, Vince really likes Titus. And I would even imagine that they have this uh, type of relationship where they just like, I don't know, like, kind of like play rough with each other. Uh, <laughs> not that way. Uh, but I think that uh, Titus made the terrible mistake of uh, just crossing the line and doing it in front of the whole roster on TV. Mm-hmm. And as as a boss, as a CEO of the company, it's okay if you have like this relationship with your employees, but you're not allowed to, to like to, for everyone to see them. You know, like I, I know with my boss, I have a specific way we can talk to each other when we're like in personal one to one meeting. But there's no way that we would talk like that in a like a company meeting. So I, I think this is a the big mistake they tied his data. He didn't I don't know how to say it, like he didn't just like keep it under like their own personal time. Yeah, he kept he he I don't I don't want to step over you, um, but it's it, there there is a time and place for you know doing 
playing around, kidding around, doing stuff like that. But not when it's a thank you to somebody who put their life on the line, literally, for this company and then has to step back from this company. And it, it's it's definitely not one of those things where you have to go, hey, let somebody else go, and it's your boss doing that. Uh, 60, to ni- 60 to 90 days is a little tough. But there have been... I don't know. I don't know how many people watched the 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 total ending to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the went on went on WWE Network, uh, but probably cl- maybe near million million people saw the last thing they saw was Titus's arm reaching for Vince McMahon and pulling him towards him, and a little bit of a scuffle. Yeah. Like I, I remember we were preparing yeah. for the Raw wrap up. I had it like on my phone down here. On, on the yeah, network, I had, I had to rewatch that. Yeah, it was just kind of like, like, like I saw it happen. I'm like, oh, that was weird, and we kind of went along our business, and, and I didn't think anything of it until, till again, I'm posting the show Wednesday morning uh, all over mm-hmm. the place, and I'm seeing this go around. I'm like, what, why would Tyson O'Neill be suspended? You know, uh, yeah. and, and and that's that's kind of uh, where they where they at. Um, all right, I, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Not a big question, I hope, because that's for later. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> Keep with the and th- this is would this suspension have happened if that was let's say the Miz? Yes. Yeah, I don't believe so. Really? I don't believe so. I I think I'm not saying like um I'm saying if that was a bigger name than Tyus O'Neill. Okay. That suspension wouldn't that suspension wouldn't have happened. Okay. Like Ty- right, right if right that now. was if that was Dolph Ziggler yeah. Or if that was Roman Reigns or Dean Ambrose, would not have happened. You're saying if Dolph that was Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler would have been a suspension, but for like a week, and mm-hmm. it would have been like we wouldn't even care. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. You, you were going there for a minute. Yeah, no, I was going to say that. Uh, I mean, there were some reports that Triple H and someone else had to talk Vince down from actually firing Tyrus. So I can totally believe this is like the typical businessman story that we hear that he just blows a gasket and mm-hmm. he wants to like destroy this man's uh, life. Actually, so, I think it was the Miz too. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> I I would totally believe that if it were like Paul Ziggler or uh, Kevin Owens, like he would like blow a gasket, try to destroy this guy, and then people will kind of like, no, 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 Ben. So maybe it would have been another name. It would have been like sixty days, but. I can totally see like a month or a full year of jobbing, stuff like that. There's other ways to punish. You know, it yeah. wanted to make a statement. <laughs> and then the, the discussions the discussions were um like, you know, about there maybe more you know, too much horsing around backstage people were worried about and maybe he was trying to make a statement there because this is a last straw. Or perhaps uh, that the, you know, word came out, and I don't know where this came from. The rumor is that maybe Titus was saying, "Hey, uh, you know, Stephanie should go first for whatever reason," as they were filing out, right? Which also seems weird. And I've definitely seen people in in, in social situations where uh, they're a little too, uh, uh, how do I put this, socially nice. Uh, to the yeah. point where it gets him in yeah. trouble, and I'm wondering if I feel like Titus is kind of that down home boy that Mama taught him well, you know, and and that overextended um, business relations at that point. Don't, don't do it in public, though. Yeah, I guess I guess so. I don't, don't know, do but it, but the it's just, cameras are running. I, I think it's also, <laughs> I think it's just like it was a reaction and it wasn't thought about. The other thing that happens is, you know, we, we mentioned Total Divas earlier. We mentioned. Uh, we, we have Swerve coming back for a second season. There's all those things happening in the backstage, a lot of forcing around that they're filming that's encouraging, and also like a lot of kind of play acting for cameras that are everywhere now. Um, if the horsing around thing is a thing, I, I, I don't buy that because I feel like that's part of what they're showing off down backstage as well. And I think yeah, that's crack- backstage though. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, versus like on stage, on the network. Which again, all that stuff's on the network too, or E, or, or, for for that matter, right? It just seems but like everybody's a, there, Sorg. 
like the fans are there watching it happen live. And then they, they see Titus O'Neil pulling Vince McMahon, his boss. Mm-hmm. But, I, mean, I don't know. We, we have stuff like this all the time. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, I, don't, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's it's a big deal because of the suspension. Like it's 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 the the hefty hefty suspension. Yeah, and it's unfortunate. I, I don't know. I hope I hope like uh, we're here and Wade Barrett gave his release about signing. I, I I think maybe Titus after all this time maybe he'll look at this and say maybe I'll go to this somewhere else if this is how 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 they're rolling with this. You know. Well, you you heard what um what Drax the Destroyer told uh to Titus O'Neil right. I'll clarify, Batista apparently said something yeah, to but Titus, and Batista, Batista told Titus to quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I w- I wouldn't have blamed Titus honestly. No, I wouldn't I either. Wouldn't either. I would not either. Absolutely. Um, I I, I mean, maybe, maybe I don't know. And there could be more of the story. Maybe he he was like, no, I did something wrong here. Um, he kind of had a, a an interesting response on Instagram that was a uh, um a, a, a myriad of, of Bible quotes. Um, that basically said to persevere. So, I mean, I think he's sounds like he's in good spirits, at least on his public face on this, and he's going to roll through it. But again, he's always been the company guy, and I think he's going to do nothing but now. And and uh, but uh, it would definitely kind of make you pause it if something like this happened. I think I think from a, a employee standpoint. So, uh, we'll see. But hey, like I said, Barrett's going. Barrett Barrett's kind of not happy with how things are going. And says, eh, maybe we'll do something else. But then again, we got so much stuff going on in other places. Some place that begin with a, an L and end with a Ucha Underground. Um, you know, and, and you know, and there's a lot of opportunity out there right now. And and while you know, hey, I'm not on top of WrestleMania yet. Uh, maybe I'll go do something somewhere else and 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 become mm-hmm. a Samoa Joe and just roll back in. You know, um, but you never know. All right, guys, we got plenty of other things to talk about, and uh, we'll talk about some other things and other opportunities for people to roll right into the WWE here uh, later in the show. Some people to book uh, book their Wrestle- WrestleMania, of course, with the Mayhem Mania. But first, I want to give a shout-out to our friends here locally in Pittsburgh, and a lot of you guys uh, um, on here, even if you're not in Pittsburgh, have been through. A lot of our fans, a lot of our friends that come and have meetings uh, roll through to the studio here. Our friend yeah, Jagoff uh, rolled up to Slice on Broadway a couple weeks ago when we were interviewing one of the guys from Monster Jam. By the way, Monster Jam was so much fun, you guys. You gotta go. Um, it's like pro wrestling with trucks. Uh, but anyways, uh, but that's not the point uh, of this. Sorg, Sorg. Hmm. We did that once. It wasn't a lot of fun. What? WCW. Oh, 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 oh. But our good friend Slice on Broadway. What? That's the Riz. Riz, what are you doing in that?